Hi, this is Boyd Brody, General Manager at Key Cooperative, and this is your Key News in 2 for December. Um, I'm out at our rail loading facility in Nevada uh, with Jared Lemper. So Jared's just taken over as our uh, Grain Division Manager, so excited to uh, hear from Jared in a second. And just, uh, I think one of the questions I had for Jared, and I'll show you around here a little bit. We're not loading at the moment, uh, but we just did get this facility up and running and have loaded I think two trains uh, that have gone extremely well and I was just going to ask Jared to kind of give you the members a little idea of the value having uh, this rail uh, shuttle loading facility is for our members. Well this year it's uh, it seems like it's going to be more important than it has been in other years past just because uh, the rail market is by far the, the best market for our grain uh, in this, this coming year. Uh, sales are, are, are good, margins are good, the, uh, the export market is uh, just really hot and heavy compared to our local uh, ethanol plants and our local usage so this year is shaping up to be quite a bit heavier rail uh, oriented as far as our merchandising plan than other years have been in the past so it's nice to have this new facility online and the speed it gives us the flexibility it gives us and uh, uh, yeah it's just uh, a lot faster it takes some of the uh, cushion away or, or adds cushion I should say to uh, our loading time where some years past we've had some struggles reaching our, our time but now uh, it's it's going to be a lot easier to to reach our load time. Yeah, so a lot of this is just the fact that production out west has been, you know, really challenged with the droughty conditions to the south and to the west, and so a lot of grain flow has to move out of this area to service those markets. Uh, and those values are, are much better than you know, we're able to get locally, and so it brings a lot of value to our members to have access to markets, you know, outside of Central Iowa. Right, it, and it gives us a good bargaining chip all the local uh, plants know what the value of grain is on rail. Uh, so it, if they know that, uh, you know, they know what they're competing against. Okay, so uh, that's your key news in two. And I would just recommend uh, if you got any questions related to grain, grain sales coming up uh, this year, uh, you know, as we run through these uh, elevated and, you know, definitely volatile markets, uh, basis is going to be moving as well. We'll talk to Jared. Uh, you know, we've got Zach and Linda and Greg. Um, so make sure you're visiting with our grain origination team uh, and they can help you navigate that as well. So that's your key news in two for December. Thanks.